Hey, what's going on? Joel Wallace. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about how we can upgrade our cell phone or our tablet microphone audio. Especially with the high demand for everyone now needing to stay connected and live stream due to the pandemic at hand with COVID, I get a lot of questions and seen a lot of questions out in the forums of how to be able to use, say, your already your Rode Wireless Go or a microphone that you already have with your cell phone. So audio is super important. Just like if you're watching a movie or a TV show and the audio is really hard to understand. You're gonna be sitting there like trying to understand what they're saying and most likely get tired of that and skip on to the next. Let's, uh, I'm gonna show you actually how to do this. This process is actually really easy and I'll put the links to all the equipment and adapters that I have in this video. I'll put it in the description for you so that way you can check it out. First off, what we need to know a little bit about the differences in the audio connection types. Since these eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter adapters look so close to each other. The technical term and the easiest way to identify them is by TRS and TRRS. TRS will be for the mainstream use with audio mixers and cameras, and TRRS is going to be used in the smart devices since they have a left and right plus a microphone. Hence, you'll see on the actual adapter, you're going to see three bands on this connector versus a standard, just a traditional TRS, you're gonna notice that there's two bands going across on the adapter, giving you stereo sound. So that's the easiest way to really identify the TRS versus the TRRS. Now that we have that out of the way, we can jump right into it. For this example, I have an iPhone 11 Pro, and then I also have a Rode Wireless Go. In addition, I also have a Rode SmartLav Plus. Now you can pretty much use any other brand that you want, but I just have these for the example here for this video. So to connect everything up, if you have a Rode Wireless Go or something similar to it, most likely it came with a patch cable that gives you TRS. Now to connect that with your phone, and since I have an iPhone, you're going to need the Lightning 3.5 millimeter adapter since iPhones don't have a headphone jack anymore. Easiest way to do this is to use a Rode SC7 adapter. That will give you the TRRS connection on one end and TRS on the other end. I like this solution a little bit better than using an additional adapter is because there's less breaks in the line, just less that could go wrong with it. You'll plug in the TRRS connection to the iPhone's adapter here. Then on the other end, we're gonna take our receiver with the wireless go and we'll plug that in just like normal. And a cool little trick that I like is that you can basically use the clip if you have one of these cell phone wallets, you can just clip right on there for adding it onto your phone. I know Rode is also has a magnetic clip, so then you can put a magnetic plate onto your phone, and then you can just easily have that magnetically on and off to your phone. Now, the other way that we could do this is if you continue to use your patch cable um, that had the TRS connection, you could get the Rode SC4 adapter. Then from there, what you do is you would have your patch cable you would then add the additional adapter and then that would plug into the receiver and then the other end to your phone. Pretty straightforward with that. You just have a little bit extra adapter and a, another break in the line. Again, nothing wrong with that. I just like less breaks in the line, less that could go wrong and have to troubleshoot to figure out what's going on from there. Next, an easy solution that, you know, it's not wireless, but it's really easy and relatively inexpensive to be able to upgrade your audio is to use a Rode SmartLav Plus. Now this lavalier microphone is already terminated with our TRRS connection. So now we can just go straight into our cell phone's headphone jack and then we can now attach our lavalier to our subject. There is an easy way to be able to hide this microphone and you can just take off the clip, put some medic tape or moleskin tape, and you can hide that inside your shirt if you want that sleek, no microphone look. Last thing, for those who will be using Zoom or FaceTime, for example, 
I recommend using the Rode SC6L instead of the Apple's Lightning to 3.5 millimeter adapter so that you can hear others in the video chat. So that's really it. Pretty easy and super easy to use and now you're gonna have better audio than just using your phone where we can hear the movement on your phone or it'll pick up other ambient sounds in the room whereas using a microphone, even though it's omnidirectional, it still will give you a pickup pattern of like kind of like having a balloon in front of your face. It'll still give you better audio than just using the NAT sound from your phone. Anyway, I hope this helps out some people. And if there was something I missed or you had any questions, feel free to ask away in the comments and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you and see you on the next episode.